Welcome, guys, to another episode of uh, Chemistry. And of course, today we are going to be looking at Gibbs free energy. Gibbs free energy. Okay, as formulated by John Willard Gibbs, who lived from the year eighteen. 18- 39 to 1903. But before we begin, as usual, let us see a question from the O3 School Jamba. Like I said, this video is tutorial is sponsored by the Jam app itself. Okay, it is all you need to succeed in your exam. That's all the past question you will ever need in this your life. Okay, for all the subjects inside one application. All right, so let us see a question. I'll talk about the app later. All right, so let's talk about let's see the past question. Um, all right, uh, this is a 2019 question number 40. They say the part of a, of the total energy of a system that accounts for the useful work done in a system is known as A, Gibbs free energy, B, entropy, C, entropy chain, D, none of the above. If you don't know, I know one. Yes, if you don't know it, you don't know it. There are so many other questions we are going to treat after the end of this class. I always make sure we do questions after the end so that you will be patient enough to wait. Some of you, you just watch one minute, you will go happy to you. Okay, you miss a lot of things. You miss a lot of useful word things, okay? There are so many things I'm going to talk about now that are in the past question that what you don't know yet on self what you, you state to the end of all of this video, all right? So please ensure what you stay to the end patiently. Uh, like this video, subscribe, and share. Download the application. It has for the past question. It has questions start feature where you can start for question according to topic. There's a classroom set where there are lecture notes. So in case you don't have textbook, you can what, use the app. It, only the app is enough for you to succeed. Then the very important one is the UTME challenge. That one is a mock challenge that will conduct every Saturday. So you can participate in that mock challenge every Saturday. You win prizes. You get used to our jam, set a question. You see your score release every Saturday. All right? And of course, you build your confidence towards the main exam. What's more? Everything on that app. Everything. You don't need to go and buy past question. One, one past question outside now is uh, 1,500 naira. So this one, I ask all the past questions. If I'm buying four, you are, paying, you are, you are spending 6,000. But this one, you're not going to spend up to what 6,000 to what to get the app activated. Okay? So the activation of the app, as I'm talking to you now, is 3,000. But it will go up. It will go up. So that when it goes up, you know, say, ah, the teacher says 3,000. So when it goes up, just understand that it has gone up. But any time anytime, anytime of the year, any year you are watching this video, Know that the, if you see if the price has changed, it's because what the price as what has changed. Okay, all right. So please download that app, activate now, and start with sudden. So now, what is Gibbs free energy? We we'll say that Gibbs free energy is the energy. Gibbs free energy, as you can see, is free. Free energy is the energy available. Available. For doing work. That means a uh, in day energy in day in day for work. Okay, energy for what it accounts for what for the useful work done in the system. Okay, so we say what energy gives energy is what is the free is uh, gives free energy is what is the energy that's available for what for doing work. We say that it is the driving force that brings about the reaction or change. It is the driving force. It is the driving force that brings about the reaction or change. Okay, so we say that what gives free energy is the driving force that brings about the reaction of change. It is even sometimes called exergy, exergy, not energy or exergy. Exergy, okay, it's what it's called what what, what exergy and was formulated, of course, by a man called John Willard Gibbs, okay, who lived from the year uh, 1839 to the year 1903. Some of you at that time, your papa and mama have not met each other, or they have not think of burning you, okay, so he lived from the year 1839 to 1903. Oh, three. Okay, now mathematically, this free energy can be represented as this. I have seen this formula before that delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. You must take note of this formula. Very vital formula in solving questions as it relates to what thermodynamics and what energy changes. Okay, so delta G. Which is gives free energy is equal to what now? Delta H, the enthalpy minus what? The constant temperature multiplied by what? By uh 
uh, entropy delta s okay change in entropy all right so this formula is very vital oh no it is i carry it and put it inside your head delta g is equal to delta h minus t delta s okay so please take note of that it is very very vital now we're going to know some wonderful thing a negative value for delta g a negative value let me take this formula off a negative value for delta G is a condition for spontaneity. A negative value, a negative value for delta G is a condition for spontaneity. For spontaneity. Okay. Do you know what they call a spontaneous reaction? A spontaneous reaction is a reaction that can occur on its own without you adding energy. Okay. You don't need to what put energy into the what into the reaction before it can happen. It's called a spontaneous reaction, like rusting of iron. Okay. It can if you put iron outside now, it's just what reacts with 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 air, oxygen, everything. With all that, you see that it start becoming more brown. Okay. So that is a spontaneous reaction. You don't you don't need to go and physically put anything on top of the iron before the iron will start reacting okay so that is a spontaneous reaction a reaction that occur on its own without what the addition of what of energy all right so a negative value for delta g is a condition for what for spontaneity that means that what it is what feasible is feasible okay that means that for a reaction to occur for a reaction to what to occur spontaneously for a reaction to occur spontaneously delta g should must be what negative okay delta g must be negative we are going to see all this in the past question all right now please i want to tell you something very very important you are very wicked if you do not like this video you cannot watch this video and not click on that like button so as we are taking this break now please click on that like button that thing that looks like this just click it on it once but then that is all click on it then subscribe subscription is free to this channel it's just to let you know to notify you on your phone that all three schools has published a new video that is all so please click on the subscribe button if you have not subscribed before if you have subscribed before thank you very much and i appreciate you now let's go back to our class and keep sharing these videos also so we say a negative value for delta g is a condition for spontaneity that means that the that what that the reaction will occur it is feasible okay and we say that for a reaction to occur spontaneously the value of delta g must be what negative now if delta g is positive if delta g is positive positive delta g value okay it means that what that the reaction is not what the feasible it is not feasible not feasible that means it does not occur does not what does not occur okay the chemical change will not occur if delta g is what is positive okay so long delta g is positive the reaction will not occur it is not feasible Okay, but if delta G is zero, if delta G is what is equal to zero, then the chemical system, chemical system is in equilibrium. Okay, the chemical system is in equilibrium. Okay, so now let us bring everything together. We say gives free energy is the energy that is available for doing work. We say it is the driving force that brings about the reaction of change. It's also called exergy. Okay, so the negative value for the energy is a condition for spontane for spontaneity. That is what that reaction is what is feasible. I also saw the formula. That mathematically, delta G is what delta H minus T delta S. And I say this, carry this formula and chuck it inside your head. Chuck it inside your head. Very, very vital for solving questions. All right? Then we'll say what negative value of delta G is a condition for spontaneity. That means it's feasible. If delta G is positive, the chemical change will not occur. It is not feasible. All right? It is not spontaneous. Now, if delta G is equal to zero, it means that the chemical system is in equilibrium. All right? Now, let's take question from the O3 school jam app to what? To round up what the class. So, uh, the first question, the 2019 question we're looking at before, uh, it says, the part of the total energy of a system that accounts for the useful work done in the system is known as A, gives free energy. That is correct. B, entropy, no. C, entropy chain. D, D, none of the above. Correct answer there is what is option A. All right, so please download this application. Let's see another question. This is a 2009 question, number 25. 
2009 question number 25. All right, we're giving a reaction, the chemical reaction between carbon and water. All right, all right so gas, carbon and steam. Sorry, car carbon and steam. Okay, to give us hydrogen gas and what carbon monoxide. We say that the theta G for the reaction uh, uh, for the reaction above 1300 Kelvin is minus 43 kilojoule. Okay, theta G is minus 43. If theta G is negative, that means the reaction is what? It's spontaneous and it is feasible. So, of course, they say the reaction is A, not feasible. It is feasible. B, at equilibrium, it is not at equilibrium. Then when theta G is what is zero, that's when the, the chemical system will be in equilibrium. Okay? Now, then they say uh, C, feasible. That means it is what? It is feasible. That is C. All right? So the correct answer is what? Is C. D, they say exothermic. Some will repair scenario will choose exothermic. And you will fail it. Okay? You fail it because we're not talking about what? Delta what? S here. Or delta what? H. Okay? If delta H is negative, it is exothermic. Okay? If delta G is negative, it is exothermic. Sorry, if delta S rather is, is negative, it is exothermic. But if delta G is negative, the reaction will be what will be feasible. It will be spontaneous. All right, now let's see another question. 2005, number four. And it says, when ion is exposed to moisture and it rusts, the value of delta G for the reaction is what? Okay, it will be feasible, right? A, neutral, B, zero, C, positive, D, negative. It will be what? Negative. Because it will be what? Feasible. Okay, it's a spontaneous reaction. The rusting of iron, like I made an example during the class, it is what? It's a spontaneous process. It can occur on its own without extra addition of energy. All right? So that is a what? Spontaneous process. And for spontaneous processes, we know that what delta G is negative. So that is correct. That is all right. Let's go to the next question. This is 2002 question number 44. Which of the following equations shows that a reaction is in equilibrium? Okay? And for equilibrium, we say that, well, that theta G is equal to what? Zero. So that means that theta G will be equal to zero for reaction at what? At equilibrium. A, they say that theta G is equal to zero, which is correct. B, they say that theta G is greater than zero. C, they say it's less than zero. D, they say that theta G is what? Theta H minus T, theta S. And of course, our correct answer is what is A. All right? So now, another question. This is a 2023 question number... Number three, say what does a negative value of gives free energy indicate for a reaction? Negative value of gives free energy is a condition for spontaneity. That means that the reaction is feasible. All right, I'm not going to read the word, the option, because we have talked about that too much. All right, so that's all I'm going to take on this, on this episode. And we are done with what? Chemical, what? Energetics and what? Or energy changes. All right, take calculations, please. This formula is very vital. Okay, so put it in your head. That calculation was supposed to take a question, but please... Uh, there's no time for that. All right, so please just take note of this formula. It's applicable, okay? You'll be giving data G, we're giving the, we're told to find data G, we're giving data H, we're giving what temperature and entropy. So you just apply the formula and you see straightforward what, uh, uh, straightforward or answer. And sometimes they'll tell you uh, to make a comment on the answer. Okay, that means if data G is negative, it is feasible. Data G is equal to zero, it is what? At equilibrium, if data G is positive, it is not feasible. So you must just know all those ones on your what, on your head. Okay, thank you very much. My name remains your favorite uh, Master T, your favorite teacher, and I'll see you in the next episode. I'll start discussing our hair and water. Thank you and God bless you.